I went from homeless to owning a digital marketing agency and one of the leading Clubhouse authorities. Intriguing? That is the first line of my Clubhouse bio. While your story may not be like mine, you still need to have a compelling bio to grow on Clubhouse. In this video, I'll walk you through my exact formula for crafting a perfect Clubhouse bio that will get you more followers, invites to speak on stage, and grow your business. If you stick around to the end, I'll share my different bios and why these are the keys to growing even faster. Since there's only a few actions you can take on Clubhouse, you have to make sure that those actions count. You never get a second chance to make a first impression, and your profile picture is your first impression on Clubhouse. When people are scrolling through the end endless sea of faces in a clubhouse room, there's two things that you can do to stand out. The first thing is make sure that you have a brightly colored background so that you can stand out in a crowd. The next thing is make sure that you have a warm inviting smile so people want to click on your face and read more about you. And of course, selfies are good for Instagram, but on clubhouse, you may want to do something a little bit more professional. When someone clicks through to your bio, they're going to see your face, your name, and the bio text. You can choose to use your real name and you can also use a creator alias. To make a creator alias, you would just click on your name and then you'll have three options and you'll see it right there in the middle. When you click on that, you just add your creator alias, but make sure you choose wisely because once you do it, you can't change it. Welcome to the anatomy of your clubhouse bio. Section number one, and I say one because it's the most important thing when it comes to your bio, is the first three lines. This is how someone determines if they wanna read more about you. Make sure that you're including some information that is a little bit compelling that makes Makes people feel a personal connection to you. The search engine on Clubhouse is looking at the first three lines of your bio, so make sure that you're using words that you want to be known and found for. Remember, this is supposed to attract people not robots. Make the connection by having some type of story and not just a string of keywords along the first three lines. On my bio, I said, I went from homeless and fired on my day off to owning a 10 person digital marketing agency. You see the keywords? And I'm the founder of clubhousedaily.com. Some more keywords, but it was told in a way that makes people want to click and read more. I know there are a lot of scholars out there, but this is not a dissertation. You wanna make your bio easy to read and you have to do that with bullet points. The next section should have your positioning statement. This is the next thing that people will know you for. Your positioning statement should contain three things, who you are, what you do, and who you help. I put, I help industry experts connect digital marketing to thought leadership so they can explode their brand, business, and bank account. Section three is all about social proof. So this should contain your awards, accomplishments, and credentials. For example, I use two sections to display this. One is all the places that I've been featured, and the second one is all the people that I've worked with. Both are considered social proof. Section number four is where you share your intent on Clubhouse. And this is more of a platform specific positioning statement. This is all also where you can share how you're adding value to the platform. For example, I put, I'm here to add value to the Clubhouse community with my skill set, knowledge, and experience. It's that simple. Section number five is all about the topics that you want to talk about. This is where you share the things that you're an expert in or the things you just want to have great conversations about. Make sure when you do this, you're using the same bullet point format and you may want to use some emojis to make it fun. Section number six is all about what you're open to. Are you open to co-moderating? collaborating, doing business, or just connecting. Section number seven, this is all about the best way to reach you. Is it through your DM on Instagram or Twitter? Is it through text messaging? Is it through email? Let them know so they know how to connect with you off the app. Section number eight, make sure that you connect your Instagram and your Twitter because this is the only way that people can connect with you off the app because there is no way to communicate within the app right now. Remember that little secret I wanted to share at the beginning of this? Well, here it is. Make sure that you have multiple Clubhouse bios. Why? Because sometimes you want to talk about different things and having multiple bios will allow you to be known for the multiple things that you do. If you have a business, but you also love dogs and golf, it's okay. Just have bio bios for each one so that each room that you go in, you can have a bio specifically tailored to that audience. Another way that you can use your bio for your benefit is when you're starting a room. You can put your talking points in your bio and encourage people when you start the room to go to your bios and take a screenshot as their notes. Creating a bio is really just the first step to being on the Clubhouse platform. If you wanna know all of the other ways that you can maximize your Clubhouse experience, we're adding all of the Clubhouse marketing videos here. So 
make sure that you check them out or you can check out this video up top. Either way, I'll see you on the next one.